Welcome to the Trucker Brown channel. Where's my smoker? I can't, I can't get into my, my Larry King and all lot. So I got another smoke. Hmm. Quick irritation. Why are you advertising your channel on my joint, bro, with the shirt? Why am I advertising your channel? Why are you advertising your channel on my platform with your shirt? Well, this is a business man. And I am a business man. Right. I guess I should be looking there, not there. I'm a businessman. Mm -hmm. This is business. Okay. So. Why are you wiggling when you say business? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wiggling when I say business? Hey, business. <laughs> All right. Oh, quick, quick. They can't hear you because we got the chest mics on. Oh, wow. You're not going to no, be right. jumping in other people's interviews. Oh, sorry. This is go, why go you don't, again. don't, 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 you film, same question. don't sorry. film with Negroes. I'm sorry. I'll, just, I'll shut the fuck up. Um, second question. Hmm? Where my shirt? In the truck. I got you. Yeah, yeah, and you got one big enough because you wanted them, them, you them sleetium dudes like well, you slim. Now, I, w I was wearing X XLs and stuff. Like I ain't I'm, I'm a double large right now. I'm man. a double XL, brother. I got one. I just, okay. I just, I just, I just passed through one or two. I'm just now yeah, okay. to grab well, this I, one. Just let you know, fat back greasy. You okay. yeah. I got you. All right. All right, that's cool. What's the name of your channel? Name of my channel is Married to the Miles. Name of your channel is Married to the Miles, mm -hmm. and your Instagram. My Instagram is mo804, M-O-8-0-8-0-4. Oh, no mathematician, brother. Like, you just can't have a regular. Oh, some woman already had mo804. Ain't that some stuff? Oh, oh, so you had so to put had an had underscore to, on there. Yeah. Well, I ain't got no underscore. I just had to spell it out and stuff to try to make it make sense. Make it make sense. Now, yeah. what I want from you is the true, raw truth about trucking. Okay, let's go. I current I, I recently went. I cry when I say this. I recently went local. Yeah, no. I want to cover this decision in the most fair way possible. Okay. So I'm asking people on their thoughts of, of local. To me, it it just it just it wasn't enough money. It wasn't enough money. It wasn't has something to do with the lifestyle as well. Would you go local? I would. But it wouldn't be, it can't be now while I'm still in the bag chase mode because local wouldn't be about the bag. It'll be more of a maintain when I'm already in the position that I want to be in. It'll keep, keep me what is it, even kill, so mm -hmm. to speak? I could do local that. Because, I mean, OTR, our, our original plan was 10 years, coming in the gate, we're four years in. So I, I don't even think about local anything at this point. But, and to be honest with you, I don't even know where I want to live. Mm. So to be local, where? Because I haven't even just made that decision yet. OTR don't open my mind up so much to different cities, different states. Just different vibes in general when it comes to, you know, living somewhere. I see so many things that I enjoy that I like that I'm still not even deciding on where I, be, where I, would, I would even want to live. And, you know, and you, you, you put something because most people don't think about that because the average person thinks I'm just going to go home. Well, I've already made a decision that what I considered home, Richmond, Virginia, Will always be home, but I I don't really have a, a want to reside there. I'll mm. visit, but I have no interest in per se. Yeah, because how there. can you leave <laughs> and see all these places and not think, why can't I live here? Exactly. So, I mean, I, when I when I ride the the Pacific Coast, hit wine country. Mm -hmm. See the peacefulness. All that Northern California stuff, hitting that ride down the one. Man, yeah. all that water, the coast. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful the, the, cool, the cool, sweet butter breeze. Mm -hmm. Nice little snow caps in the distance sometimes. Ain't got to deal oh, with man. it. Oh, uh, man. Uh, uh, low population. Love it. I love it. Why would I say, screw it, I'm going back to Norfolk, Virginia? 
I don't see it. It would be foolish. Like, I, I really feel like if I told people, I tell people, if I, if I lived in a city or if I came from an area, peace, bro, if I came from an area that was popping, then maybe that decision will be a little more difficult. But just being from where I'm from, although I love it, it can it it it's, it don't compare to a lot of the other cities and, and places. And you evolved past it. Yes. So I, I love my folks, family, friends, the whole nine. I mean, I'll never say I'll never go back because there are people there that mean a lot. I mean, outside of the kids and stuff like that. Yeah, I, mean, you I guess visit. that's a given. But yeah, it, it's gonna always be that open thing. But to me, I'd rather go somewhere else and almost give them the experience of going so you know what I mean? Like yeah. kind of trying to open their eyes up to some things. Cause there are a lot of people who have no interest in leaving the city and that's cool for them. I knew people in the great state of Virginia. Great. The great state. Mm -hmm. They they get mad when I say that, but they ain't from the VA so they don't know the real, you know what I'm saying? Two up, two down. Mm -hmm. From the great state of Virginia in Norfolk, Virginia, who was born in Norfolk, Virginia, and never seen the water. Wow. That means they never left Norfolk. Now, they seen the little water right around Wolf, but they never seen the beach. So living in Norfolk, but never drove to Virginia Beach. Never left Norfolk. And you're talking 45 minutes, an hour you talking 40 something years old. That's how small-minded that is. How can you have not seen the beach and you live 16 miles from the beach? It sounds probably, it sounds completely crazy, but it goes back to, I guess, the, the, the mentality and just wanting more mm. or just wasting your days away doing jigabooing, yes. sugar stepping. Yeah. And one day turns into two. Marmalade cooling. Two turns to a week, week into a month. Next thing you know, you're five years in and you ain't been to the water. Mayonnaise scooping. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you've been doing. Yeah. You more worried about the the basic things than 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 thinking I'm gonna try some exploration. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like when I stopped OTR, I just I felt stuck. Regardless and, of the money, it was just like I'm tired of seeing this place. Right. I want to come down the mountain and see a whole new ecosystem. Yeah. That you you don't understand. Not only can you get. You people say, "Well, I don't want to be on the road because I don't. I just don't. I just don't like being away from home." Do you know you can get stuck on the road to where that's where you're happy? Yeah. You and when you stop, I say you can do two weeks. That third week is a killer. We just came off home time and we kind of experienced some of that. We this was our second time since we've been out here staying home more than a week. We know I'm not trying to do a week, maybe a week in a few days, just to get my last bit of marbles together or mm. see if see some people that I kind of forgot to go holler at, that type of thing. But a full two weeks and some days, this is only the second time we've done it in four no, days. No, I did for the days. 40 days, bro. Right, Eight weeks of degradation. <laughs> I was gonna no, I was literally gonna die. I, I I can see that. Like people say home. Like, bro, I live on the road. Exactly. Like, I don't view, when I do home time, I call it that because that's the term, but it's vacation for me. Yeah. Like, I literally go home, everybody else is working, doing whatever their normal, regular life activities are. Normies. And I'm chilling. You know, they might want to go here or there and, you know, travel or whatever, get around the city and do whatever it is that they do, but... I just want to chill out. Like I'm not interested in in, in doing a lot of stuff. Like just literally because chilling the things out. that they want to do is a, uh, all right. I pull into Norfolk. It's minuscule. I pull into Norfolk. I just drove through Oregon, hmm. Washington, <laughs> Missoula, Nebraska, mm -hmm. the the coast, the Gulf Coast, the Pacific Coast, and everything. Florida, Miami, Maringue. Mm -hmm. I get there, you talking about, hey, bro, you want to go to the bar? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. 
No, 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 no. You ain't on this. This new bar opened up at uh, the waterfront. You hear me? Mm-hmm. And, you know, they got all type of drinks from all over there. Well, and it's like, bro, I don't want to go to the bar, bro, because I've been in bars all over the country. Guess what? It's all the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, or when you call one of your homeboys from back home and you, they be like, man, where you at? Hey, man, I'm in Nebraska. What country is that? Yeah, well, where that's at? <laughs> what, bro? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I, 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 like I said, I use the word home time and I call it home, I guess, because that's home is where the heart is. So it'll always be home. I just don't have real interest in, in being there like that. Like for me, real talk, four or five days, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Now, I mean, I ain't saying I'm ready to get back on the road and truck and do all of that, but as far as being there. Stationary. I'm ready to go. That's why when I go home, I always get a tour with a lot of miles. Cause I go, I go off yeah. and try, cause then the truck don't allow you to really explore. Right. So when you in a car, you can just pull off that little street and just right. go. So I, I'll get a car and I'll do a day there. And then I'll do a day where I'm just driving all the way up, whatever, just to see what's just, just to be nosy. Just, right. What y'all doing? You yeah. know? And I found little cities. That's how I found Park City in Utah. Okay. Just just BSing. I've, I've been passing it for years. I said, you know, I'm going to go out there and see what's up yeah. there. And it's dope up there. Bro, it's when we did our anniversary uh, a few months ago or well, a few weeks ago now or well, last month. And we, we rented a car in Oregon and drove up to Washington and kind of did the whole Seattle and back down. And or just driving on the, I guess, not the normal route that we would take in the truck. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's just dope, bro. Like the greenery, just the richness the mountains, of the area. The like water. It's, it's, it's even the it's freeness of the people. Man. Like you, yeah. it, when you out there, I can just be an artist, and it don't be like you know where we from. It's like what you, you know your little camera thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah. ain't no picture, little nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> they not gonna respect it. Yeah, I can take it. No, I was telling you, I knew Mo back in the day when he was doing that mess. Mm-hmm. Now you up here taking pictures. Like, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? You know, and so I can't just be an artist today. It, it That's one of the pluses for me in trucking, period. Trucking allows you to quiet the noise mm-hmm. and distraction and all, and literally for the first time, hear yourself think. And be able to think a thought all the way through or think on a thought multiple times multiple for multiple days. days until you get an understanding or just clarity of the thought. Where when you're in a normal, regular life, rat race, and you moving how other people want you to move, mm-hmm. or you're stuck at a job for this length of time of the day, and then you finish from that, somebody you wants you to do that. You got a million things to do. Bro, you, you don't work, have get time off, to... get a date, entertain yourself, go to sleep, work, get off, get a date, weekend, entertain, sleep, sex, work, get all get. You don't have time to think nothing over. Then you wonder why well, I did 30 years at, at DuPont. You can't dream. Mm. Heavy. And that's what I realized in trucking. It's like, yo, like you literally almost, you almost call time out on life. Or what you consider to be life. Yeah. You almost be able to call time out, separate it. What they say, you can't see the forest for the trees. Like mm-hmm. it allows you to almost step away from yourself and look at stuff from a broad landscape. And see how other people are living. Because that side of the highway is an eye opener. Hmm. You see people out there with the semi truck right beside the house, an yeah. RV there, a garden, two horses. Yeah. People living, man. Oh my God! That's the craziest part. That's you see the them houses up in, up, up, in, up, up in the mountain, up in the mountains, and speckled at night, bro. People living, dog, heavy, bro. And living I don't think good. people get it. Like I, people living, man. I'm, I'm, and we from I'm a trying place. to be one of them. I want you to be one of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like on life, like <laughs> get up. Hey, what man. are you doing? You're not doing nothing with yourself, man. But it's Do like something. when you on the East Coast, I think we praise opulence. It's about status. It's about the fancy car. It's about the light skinned spouse. It's about the you know my kids go to this private school. My house has pillars. I, I told you, 
East Coast is the only place where when you get to a certain neighborhood, they don't put blinds above the door because they have a window to show off the chandelier. Yes. It's like everything's a status freaking symbol. And then you realize when you go to these neighborhoods, they don't even know who the next to them. So who the hell are you showing off for? You need you need high company. Right. What do you got three dens for if you ain't got no company? I need to go another one. I ask my ex, what kind of car you want? Hmm. I want an Escalade. Like, bitch, you don't even drive eight miles from the house. What do you need an Escalade for? Well, I mean, I just like the car. You like a $97,000 base model vehicle to go to Walmart? It's because it's about the people that ain't in the car. It's about the people seeing you. Yeah. Then when you get to the West, there's another thing you see too. You motherfucker got Subarus. Legacy. The old, Su- old one. <laughs> old the one. old shape. And they chilling. Don't Outback. Don't care. The Outbacks is hard, by the way. I rented one. Y'all, yeah, y'all sleeping on the joints. They tight. But, but they driving them. There's nothing you don't see out East too. Where we from. You don't see no bike racks on nobody's car. Nah. Old, get old, in Colorado. Old. Or kayak joints. Well, you might see some. A few but, if you get to the 81. But when you're talking East, real, East? real outdoors activity, like. Name one of your homeboys with a tricked out car that's going to let you put a bike rack on it. <laughs> <laughs> what? What you say? Zero. No, I know this. I know this. Your Q75, but let me let me get this bike rack on no, it. Nah, no, no, homeboy. Do nah, nah. I ain't going to do that. Mm-mm. This ain't no Ford truck. Mm-mm. That's and for real. I, I don't mind even that. Like. I like flashy stuff, probably just as much, if not more, than the next. I, I enjoy nice things. I enjoy quality stuff, all that. So I, I get it. I, I get it. But it's still, I guess, a point. It gets old. Yeah. Because you are, you, how old are you now? I'm 44 years old. You to the point where you don't need extra friends. 44 years old. Be 45 in a few months. Okay. We'll continue. I will, because I don't know what just happened now. Hey, I'm just It was saying. awkward. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. You just said it, but it still made me uncomfortable. But listen, <laughs> if if you if you okay. I believe that it has come to a point where flashing and chasing sex is no longer something we do to procreate on the East Coast. It's a hobby. Yes, it's fun. Like me and you have cameras for a hobby. Yeah. You don't really get paid for buying these cameras. You don't get paid to learn these cameras. No. You know, no. it's it's just, it, you are learning a skill. It's like one of the arts. Right. But if you go and talk to somebody from my family from Virginia, they know every pickup line what clothes to wear, where to go, where the herds of women are. They study it like a hobby. It is no longer mm-hmm. something you do to find a mate. It's like fishing. Right. Right. So it's, if you if your if your hobby is a negative reinforced thing like womenizing, the byproduct of that is a rack of freaking kids that you say, that you yeah. don't get to see, sexually transmitted diseases, depleted funds, and, and all type of crap. Mm-hmm. That's why you, you go out there, everybody in the same situation. Right. But then when you leave there, I put it this way. When last time you seen a camera store in the hood? Sucks. I, I think in Richmond, I only know of one. I only know of one camera store in the city. I've never and I've seen I've never a, been to it. And they're in there. <laughs> I'm sure. But 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 where we would be at, oh, no. ain't no camera store. Best Buy the camera store. Yeah. Because... There's no hobby stores and stuff like that and bird watching telescope stores because there's no hobby there. But there's a place for you to get Hennessy. There's a place for you to get nice clothes because the hobby there is chasing tail. All of that. Yeah. And it all depends on the circles because even, even in your city, a lot of stuff is there. You just don't do it. There's museums. Mm. There's, there's Especially with art, there's, there's crazy stuff, even in the city of Richmond, bro. There's, there's, there's plenty of things to do. There's kayaking. People do it. Oh, I yeah. See it. Camping. All of that. But is is my boys out there? <laughs> nah. You want me going to the woods with like Jason? What you talking about? Yeah, no, we're going to Arabia House having a cookout. <laughs> 
wear your good stuff. Yeah. Because his little cousin going to be on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 